I worked in a neuroscience lab for years, um, primarily doing um, research on uh, some vision processing and some uh, software development. And I've decided to switch over, go into business and um, engineering, more industry route. I did that a few years ago. Um, at this point, I'm planning to move to San Francisco so I can interact more with the startup community. But I just wanted to go into why. So I mentioned this in another video that I was planning to go this route, but uh, I think a lot of it comes down to um, an interaction that we had at the university where, um, so the professor who I worked for, who was a, a big name at the university, U UCSD, uh, he was bringing in um, second highest amount of money for anybody in the whole university in terms of bringing in grant money and doing things and uh, he had a meeting with a guy who used to be the CEO of Gateway where he's basically um, trying to get some funding for a project from the former CEO of Gateway to develop uh, a product that would be useful scientifically and that's pretty much the moment when I realized well if I have these skills uh, in the technology arena, I mean, that's kind of my natural thing. I've been programming since I was in grade school. I mean, the, and if I have an interest in science, it, it may not even make as much sense to straight up do the science, but rather to go into industry because industry has so much power to make just about anything happen with the, the proper funding. In other words, this guy who was the CEO of Gateway essentially had more power to make things happen because he could hire more engineers if he wanted to, um, or he could even hire scientists if, if he wanted to, to make his visions come to life. So to me, if you want to make your visions come to life, for me, it's more logical, even if they're in the scientific arena in a sense, you know, developing really advanced tools to understand a brain better or things like that. Uh, to me, I'd rather be on the side that, that has the money and just decides immediately uh, what's going to happen rather be, than being the scientist who, um, you know, a high level scientist typically is a fundraiser, like a professional fundraiser. So rather than being a professional fundraiser, I, I'd like to just be a, a person with a lot of wealth who can just decide to do things.